This is Eva Starr. And in honor of, well, it's actually President's Day, but George Washington's birthday is tomorrow on February 22nd. But I'm going to do a brief, as brief as Eva Starr can do, which for those of you who know me is challenging, a brief video on freedom. And I've uh, highlighted a few notes because otherwise I'll just start talking and before you know it, it'll be like an hour and I'll still be talking. Okay, so this is what I want to talk about. Something that I've experienced and I'm sure everybody has at some point in their life, but the day that you realize you're going to die is the day you start to live. And for me, it happened the day I turned 60. A good friend had told me that when I turn 60, my whole life's going to change. And I did, wasn't really sure what he was talking about. But then on the day I turned 60, like I woke up and it was like, oh, my God, I understood what he meant. Like all of a sudden, I didn't give a blank anymore. Not that I don't care about anything, but I'm not going to let all the little stuff bother me. So that was a huge awakening for me. And then I want to also say... We're too worried about what they think. They, they who are, whoever they are, your, your significant other, your parents, your boss, your neighbor. Like we're always so worried about what they think. Who cares what they think? Not just what you think. Life's too short. You're going to die anyway. So why not live while you're still alive? And then something that I heard Wayne Dyer say, I heard him speak uh, a few times. He said, don't die with the music still in you. I'm like, oh my God, that's so profound. And so I've never forgotten that. So let that be something that maybe you put in your little memory bank up there. So this is what I've come up with. Three things to be totally free. Number one, let go of control. I mean, seriously? Oh, my God. We're all control freaks. I don't care who you are, what you say, unless you're Buddha or whoever, the Dalai Lama. I don't know. Um, you can only control what's in your boat, okay? You're going down a treacherous river. You can't control everything around you. You can only control what's in your boat. Number two, detach yourself from the outcome. I mean, you can only do what you can do, and then you got to let it go. Get rid of those uh, vice grips you got on everything, those, uh, you know, super glue. You're holding on to everything like, like a freaking, like a crab, like I'm a cancer, the crab. I mean, we got those pinchers. We hold on. Let go, okay? Detach yourself from the outcome. And number three, is that three? Yeah, three. Quit shooting on yourself. I wrote a book about that, actually. You should look it up it's on Amazon. Um, like, you're always, like, what other people think you should do. Who cares what other people think you should do? When you're, like, six feet under or burnt to a crisp, I don't think you're going to be, you know, sitting there thinking about, oh, all the failures that I had in my life. No, you're going to probably be regretting all the crazy things you didn't do. So, anyway, that's it. I, I got to keep this short. I, I have a lot of things still to do on my bucket list, but I'll die trying because I want to do everything. All right. Mwah! This is Eva Starr saying be free. I love you. And until next time.